Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Friday, October 5th, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. Everyone is trying to figure out how to harness big data, including the government. Wednesday, the government rolled out a roadmap report for tackling big data projects. What kind of impact will this have on government projects going forward? Joining us now to discuss the government's big data strategy is Wikibon analyst Jeff Kelly. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So tell us, what is the government's plan to tackle big data? Well, as you may recall, earlier this year, the government, uh, the federal government announced a $200 billion initiative, a uh, research initiative around big data. And that was a really good start. I mean, obviously, you, you need the funds to support um, any kind of project of this scale. Uh, but kind of what, what we saw this week was the release of, a, of another uh, more practically focused uh, set of uh, resources to help uh, particular government agencies actually get started um, with big data. And that's, uh, that's key. That's really also the challenge we see in the business world, taking it from vision uh, to, to reality. The report that was released stated the impact of big data has the potential to be as profound as the development of the Internet itself. So what do they mean by this statement? Well, if you think about all the data that we create as a, as a society, um, and we're really not taking advantage of, of the vast majority of it at this point, and that's what big data is all about. Um, you know, we create data every day on our cell phones, uh, with the social media applications we use, uh, just all the machines running uh, either in IT infrastructure, uh, all the machines that are associated with, uh, you know, ATMs, everything, all the, everything you use on a daily basis, almost everything creates data of some kind. And so the idea that we can actually harness all that data, crunch it, process it, and do some analysis to understand and find new ways to, in the government's case, serve the public more efficiently, um, secure, you know, our borders or prevent terrorism. There's so many options, uh, so many uh, possibilities out there, uh, and we're just starting to really explore that. Can you tell us about some of the types of big data projects the government is working on? Sure. Well, uh, you know, one, one of the more forward uh, thinking organizations within the government when it comes to technology, not surprisingly, is NASA. So, you know, NASA has been engaged in big data projects, although perhaps not using that name, but, but been engaged in big data for a long time. So they're using big data uh, for, uh, among other things, for example, to try to understand climate change, uh, crunch a lot of weather data from years past, um, that's data from, you know, historical data, that's data from real-time data coming in from sensors throughout the world, um, temperature readings, things like that, crunch all that data to try to understand patterns, trends, try to identify areas where you know, we can make a difference as a, as, a, as a country, as a government, in terms of helping uh, kind of turn that trend around, trend around of global warming. Um, and so that's just one area where, where the government is kind of getting involved in big data. Uh, the key, I think, is to really expand beyond some of those organizations like NASA, which you, know, you would expect to have a, have a pretty good handle on uh, technology such as this, uh, and extending that to more, uh, to less technology sophisticated organizations or agencies within the government, such as education, transportation, uh, and others. So of the projects that you mentioned, do you feel those are the ones of high priority for the government at this time, or are there others that could take precedence, precedence over those? Uh, well, it, it's a good question. You know, it, it's hard to tell at this point, you know, what the federal government is putting their, uh, is prioritizing in terms of big data projects. I mean, if it were me, I think some of the uh, more crucial issues, of course, are education, uh, improving our education system, finding new ways uh, to to not just improve education, but but track it and actually understand trends and uh, to understand when we're improving, when we're not improving, and zero in on areas that uh, we can take practical steps to actually improve the overall performance of of uh, students. Um, certainly, when it comes to the economy, um, you know we're all trying to figure out ways. Uh, we, we watched the debate the other night between uh, President Obama and uh, Governor Romney talk about taxes and. Uh, the national debt and, our, and the deficit, uh, arguing about they're arguing about kind of math. Well, your math doesn't work if you do this many tax cuts. How are you going to solve the solve the deficit? Well, that's really a math issue, and that's uh, analytics. Um, we can use analytics to, to find new ways to test what if scenarios. Well, what if we lower taxes in this bracket and raise them in that bracket, et cetera? But what's really going to be the real impact of that? And that's where big data, predictive analytics, could come into play. So it really has a, a real role, and, and it really could have a real impact on everyone's day-to-day -day life uh, when it comes to you know, taxes in the economy. Can you give us any examples of big data success stories? 
Well, sure. You know, there's been uh, quite a few in terms of, uh, obviously, we all know about the big web companies that are using big data quite successfully. Um, anytime you log on to LinkedIn and it suggests, for instance, that you may know these people, that's all big data kind of crunching, crunching in the background. Excuse me. Um, but we certainly know that a lot of financial services organizations are also using big data to track and identify fraudulent activity uh, in real time so that they can actually take some action and when they identify uh, that there is a, a fraudulent uh, transaction occurring, they can actually stop it in real time rather than identifying that fraudulent activity you know, a week later, it's too late, the bad guy's gone and he's got the money. So uh, we're seeing that in the financial services space. Uh, we're seeing a little bit a little bit of development in the healthcare space, and this is another area uh, where the government certainly uh, could use big data. But uh, in the private sector, some some of the uh, health private healthcare organizations are starting to use big data to help their uh, physicians and clinicians uh, better track patient outcomes, uh, identify potentially new treatments, uh, things of that nature. Although that's, it's just kind of getting started there in healthcare. Uh, so certainly on the government side, that could apply to uh, the new healthcare initiative. I guess it's not that new anymore, Obamacare, as it's called, uh, in terms of tracking and understanding how that is really impacting people on the ground. Coming up later this month, the Cube will be covering two major conferences for big data, Strata Hadoop World from New York and IBM o IOD in Las Vegas. Uh, what kinds of things do you think we'll see coming out of these events? Uh, well, you know, there, there are different events, uh, different focus. I mean, they're both related to big data, certainly. Um, at IBM, uh, Information on Demand, you know, that's a conference, uh, obviously IBM is a, you know, a mega vendor, one of the whales in the IT industry. Um, so they're going to really focus on, I, I believe, and I hope for their sake that they are focused on really uh, delivering a cogent message around big data. Um, one, the thing with IBM is they, as we all know, they've got a huge portfolio of analytics and data management technologies. Uh, the question I've always had about IBM is, well, how are you delivering that to customers in a practical a practical way. So, you know, they have to deliver that message, and I think that's what we're going to see uh, them try to do at IBM uh, Information on Demand. Uh, in the next conference, Strata uh, Conference and Hadoop World, it's two conferences kind of merged now. Um, you know, that's a little bit more of a, you might say it's got a little bit more of the cool factor. That's where a lot of the, a lot of the cool kids in the IT industry will be, if you will, the uh, hackers, the data scientists, things like that. So it's going to be a lot of, you're going to see a lot of big data startups, companies like Hadapt, uh, companies like Squirrel and others who are really cutting, doing cutting edge work in big data, really pushing the envelope with new technologies, uh, a lot of them related to the Hadoop uh, ecosystem. Um, so you're going to see a really lot of uh, very interesting uh, new technologies coming out of that show uh, that we'll be highlighting. Well, Jeff, thanks for joining us this morning. Great to have you on. Well, thanks so much. Anytime. For information on news of the day and the latest breaking analysis, stay tuned on News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV.